overhead tricep extensions from a low cable. So we've got our cable stack set to about hip height here. We've got our triceps attachment on the end. We're gonna hold the lowest grip attachment, bend slightly forwards, just hinging at the hips just a little bit, keeping that as close to your head as you possibly can, extending at the elbows, spread that apart as we extend, and then control back to that beginning position. Overhead triceps extensions from a high cable. So I've got the cable set at about head height. I've got my triceps attachment on here. I'm gonna use the lowest grip position. I'm gonna just hinge myself slightly forward, just leaning away from that cable stack, keep my elbows about level with my ears. I'm gonna extend my elbows out, squeeze my triceps hard, and then return to that beginning position. So I'm gonna spread that rope and then return to the beginning position. Triceps push down. So I've got my cable set to its highest point, just slightly higher than your head, and then I've got my triceps attachment set here. I'm gonna use the lowest grip on these. I'm just gonna step myself back, just so I can lean slightly into it, just to maintain tension on that long head of my triceps. And all I'm gonna do is extend my elbows, pushing down, parting that as I come to the bottom, and then return to that top position, not allowing myself to lose any triceps tension throughout the entire motion. One arm cross body push down. So I've got my cable set to its highest point, about head height or just slightly higher. And I've got my triceps attachment here and I'm gonna be using the lowest handle. What I'm gonna do is just kind of drape that attachment just over my opposite shoulder to my working arm. Just leaning slightly forward into it so I'm nice and stable. And I'm gonna really try and isolate elbow extension, keeping that relatively far away from my shoulder as I do. So all the way up and then extend my elbow all the way down. You can have both feet parallel if you want to, whatever's most comfortable for you. Cable triceps kickbacks. This is a really good one for that long head of your triceps in that shortened range of motion. I've got the cable set to around about hip height or slightly lower, and then I'm gonna use the lowest part of my triceps attachment. I'm gonna bend myself over, and from there, I'm just gonna try and keep my elbows back, isolate elbow extension, kick that all the way back, squeeze my triceps as hard as I can, and then just return to that start position. Face pulls, this is a really great exercise for targeting your rear delts and your shoulder external rotators. I've got the cable set to about chest height, but you can adjust that cable height depending on kind of where you want your scapula to be moving in these. What I'm gonna do is just take a step back and all I'm gonna be thinking about is elbows out, thumbs towards my ears and spreading that rope attachment out as I pull back. Elbows out 90 degree rows are a really great exercise for targeting your rhomboids. What we're gonna be doing is having our cable attachment set to around about chest height or maybe a little bit lower. We're gonna find a nice stable position with our stance, so one foot forward works best for most. And all we're gonna be doing is, as the name of the exercise implies, driving our elbows out towards the side so our humerus, our upper arms, are about 90 degrees to our torso. So it's spreading that apart 90 degrees to our torso. Cable upright rows. So I've got my triceps attachment set to its lowest point, around about ankle height here. And all I'm gonna do is just take a very slight step back just so I've got a little bit of tension in the cables. I'm also using a grip on the triceps attachment that's just slightly higher than what I'd normally use, but you can adjust that depending on what feels good for you. All I'm gonna be thinking about here is putting my elbows out towards the sides and thumbs towards my nipple line, really squeezing my shoulders at the top. Straight arm lat pull downs. This is a really great exercise for isolating and targeting your lats. I've got the cable set to around about head height or slightly higher. And all I'm gonna do is just take a grip 
of my attachment there. Take a step back until I've got enough tension in those cables. And just thinking about driving my elbows down towards my hips, keeping about the same angle in my elbows the, elbows the entire time. And imagine almost trying to burst an orange between my armpits to get my lats really contracted and really firing in the bottom position. So a really big stretch at the top, really big squeeze of your lats at the bottom. Front raises are a good exercise for targeting your anterior delts. Here's how they're done. What I'm gonna be doing is just taking a very slight step forwards. That cable is set to its lowest point on the floor. And I'm just using quite a high kind of grip on these triceps attachments here. What I'm gonna be doing is just getting a little bit of tension and then just gonna raise my elbows up, trying to keep my core nice and strong as I do so, and then return all the way down. Really trying to focus on feeling that in my front delts. Cable pullovers, so I've got a bench set in front of my cables and the cable height is just slightly higher than the height of my bench here. What I'm going to be doing here is just getting myself nice and stable in the bench and all I'm going to be doing is pulling my elbows down towards my hips. Imagine that orange bursting between our armpits to really kind of contract and engage our lats and then get a nice stretch, as much of a stretch as we can on the way back. So squeeze and then back. You can also do these on an inclined bench as well to change the angle a little bit or a decline bench. But here we're just using a flat bench. Seated rhomboid row. So this is one you could usually do in your seated cable row machine, but we're gonna do this in our cables and we're just gonna use a bench as well. The cable stack is set to about kind of belly button height here, almost the same height as it would be in your cable row. And from there, we're just gonna take a seat, get ourselves nice and stable. And then we're gonna imagine as we pull that rope in, we're gonna spread our elbows apart. Not quite to 90 degrees, but we're just gonna spread that attachment apart in that end range, that shortened range right there to really get our rhomboids firing. Cable squat or cable quad squat, as I sometimes like to term it, because this is an extremely quadriceps focused squat in the way we're gonna do this. We're gonna have our cable set to its lowest point here, and we've obviously got a grip on our attachment. From there, we're just gonna have our feet relatively square forwards on this one as well, because you're able to get quite a lot of depth with this one. We're gonna take a nice deep squat, almost beyond parallel here. Then as you come up, you're gonna extend those knees and just lean slightly back against that cable weight. So really squeezing our quads as we get to that top point of the exercise. Cable split squat. So I've got my cable set to its lowest point and I've got my triceps attachment on here. We're gonna start from the bottom point in our split squat. So we're gonna get kind of a 90-90 position with our split squat. That's 90 degrees in our front knee, 90 in our back keeping our ribs nice and down and our abs stable throughout the entire motion. As we stand up, we're gonna extend our knee and almost lean slightly back against the weight. So stand up as opposed to straight up, straight down with most other split squats, we're extending and just pushing slightly back into this one. And that really gets our quads firing. We'll call this one a super goblet squat because it's beyond any goblet squat you've ever seen. It's almost taking your goblet squats to the next level. It's a really good option for loading your goblet squats if the dumbbell weight of your gym is a little bit too light or you just want to add another dimension into your squats. So we've got our cable set to its lowest point and then we're almost using this in like a zercher kind of position on our elbows here. We're gonna kind of struggle to get that in place but it shouldn't be too much of an issue and from there we're going to take a step back until we've got the cable load that we want and we're going to take ourselves into our nice deep goblet squat hitting that bottom point and then almost leaning back against that load as we reach that top point of the squat these are really humbling if you can get these right Cable pull-throughs. So we've got a cable set 
at its lowest point. We're gonna take a step out with that cable underneath. And then what we're gonna do is just focus on pushing our hips back, almost like you're imagining pushing a door closed behind you to kind of get that cable stack returning to its original starting point. Get a lot of load through those hamstrings. And then we're gonna fire off our glutes, kick through, squeeze our bump in that end range. Nice squeeze. And then again, just pushing our hips back, closing that door behind us with our butt and squeeze. So stretch those hamstrings, squeeze those glutes. Kneeling cable crunches, often misperformed. Here's how to do them correctly to work your abs the hardest. What I'm gonna be doing here is taking a kneeling position just back in front of the cables, keeping that cable over my head, over my head throughout the entire motion, so I'm never gonna be using my arms here. And all I'm gonna be focused on, focusing on is putting my ribs down towards my pelvis, almost closing the space between my ribs and my pelvis, so it's an isolated flexion of my spine. With a big stretch, and then flexion all the way down. So I'm trying to really exhale, get rid of as much air as I possibly can as I'm in that bottom position and I can squeeze my abs really hard. Make sure as well that you're not doing this, you're not sitting your butt back in your heels as you're doing it. You're just purely isolating flexion of the spine right there. Hammer curls are a biceps building staple. Here's how to do them with your cables and your triceps attachment. What we're gonna be doing here is having a grip that's in a neutral position, just holding here. So it's kind of like a thumbs up grip here. We can also hold in there if we want to. Whatever's most comfortable for you, works best for you. We're gonna take a step back until we've got a little bit of load from those cables. We're gonna keep our thumbs up, keeping that neutral position, that hammer position. And then we're gonna pull our thumbs towards our shoulders. Nice big squeeze of our biceps on the way out. And then same on the way down. Almost trying to squeeze our triceps hard on the way down as well to get that full length through our biceps. Big squeeze of our biceps at the top and at the bottom.